take some time to consider some of your biggest dreams in life. Perhaps you would like to own a beautiful home, or would like to experience an incredible adventure, or maybe just simply provide for your family for generations to come. So, what's standing in your way? More often than not, the answer is money. Welcome back, hustlers! And in this video, we'll understand what financial freedom is to you and the 10 steps to achieve it. Let's begin! Ironically, financial freedom is not necessarily about being rich, but having control over one's finances and its control over your life. In fact, the road to financial freedom is a gradual process and works best if you imagine it to be the levels of a game. And as you overcome each of these levels, you'll gain a new sense of freedom in terms of time and choices. So let's dive straight into the 10 essential steps to level up. Step 1. Understand where you are at. The first step to financial freedom starts with knowing where you are presently. It means knowing details about debt you have accumulated, savings you have accumulated, how much you spend and save each month, the amount of money you invest and have invested. Basically, your financial statement, your income, expenses, assets, and liabilities. These will give you an idea of how well you are doing presently and is a good place to identify sources of financial problems. Step 2. Write down your goals. Why do you need the money? Is it to get rid of an educational loan? Are you trying to start a business? Or perhaps you need money to travel for your wedding, kids' education, or retirement? Money is merely a means to achieve your goal, but until you write down your goals, money will only be money without a purpose. So take a piece of paper and write down your top 5 goals that you would like to achieve over the next 1, 5, 10, or 20 years. It's important that you write down the goals in a way that can be measured with money, is realistic and time-bound. This step will give you a clear idea of what your financial destination is. Step 3. Track your spending. It's important to track and categorize your expenses as it makes you more accountable to yourself. It reveals needless or hidden expenditures. Impulse purchases are only good when treated as a reward rather than simply because you have the ability to do so. Remember, financial freedom is not about living a bare-bones lifestyle, but about spending money smartly. This step will help you understand the difference between what are your needs and what are your wants. Step 4. Pay yourself first. Financial freedom starts with paying yourself. What that means is putting the amount in your savings or investment account before paying any discretionary expenses, bills, rents, etc. Remember every dollar saved and invested is more than every dollar spent. What this step does is it forces people to search for alternatives to work with the amount left for covering their expenses. You may end up setting up auto debits on your account so that you can avoid late fees. You could cancel your newspaper and cable subscriptions for cheaper online options or even cancel subscriptions to services you very occasionally use. Step 5. Pay off your debts. Closing any loan lifts off a massive weight from your shoulders. The best way to go about this is to order your debts in the increasing rate of interest and close the debts with the highest interest rate first. Alternatively, you could try to close your smallest loans and move on to bigger loans one by one. The end result should be to free you from the chains of debt so that your money can focus on just, just you. Step 6. Monitor your credit. Your credit score plays an important role in your journey toward financial freedom. A person's credit score determines his or her access and rate of interest on the loans. In some states, employers may review a job applicant's credit history while making hiring decisions. Insurance companies may also look at the credit scores to set policy premiums and it is wise to have a good credit score to save on higher premiums. Paying off your debts and bills on time are two ways to boost your credit score. Step 7. 
always keep your career and business moving forward. Increasing one's income while keeping expenses in check is one of the fastest ways to gain financial freedom. This requires you to upscale your business or learn new skills and develop a larger network to move forward in your career. Looking up is the only way to go. Step 8. Create additional sources of income. Many financial advisors encourage people to discover as many as five sources of income. Additional income can come in two ways. The first being active income, wherein you trade your time to generate money. For example, when you write and design content, develop apps, or even do a second job. The problem here is that you are limited by the number of hours in a day. The other is passive income, where you do the work once, and money keeps coming in an automated manner. For example, selling digital ebooks or a course on Coursera. Step 9. Build an adequate emergency fund. Without an emergency fund, you could risk going back into debt if you encounter an unforeseen situation or unexpected expense. While conventional wisdom is to save enough money for 3, 6, or 12 months of expenses, it's important that you take the first step by adding one month of your total expense value to the emergency fund. Gradually, you can add several months' worth of expenses until you have sufficient money in your fund to cover any surprise expenses. Step 10. Investing The last and most future-looking step is investing. Now on this channel, you will see a lot of different strategies for investing. The best way to start this journey is to invest as much and as early as possible, therefore to allow the power of compounding to assist you. Next is to increase investments each year at a percentage higher than your increase in income. Third, automate your investments using SIPs so that you don't need to worry about timing in the market. The fourth one is to choose SIPs that match your risk tolerance. Lastly, review your portfolio regularly and rebalance accordingly. Each of these tasks listed have different degrees of complexity. Some may come naturally to you and some may require a lot of effort. Some find it easier to cut expenses while some find it easier to generate new sources of income. But each step is crucial for you in winning your freedom from the rat race. So take up the challenge and hustle on! Thanks for watching this video! If you like the video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next video. Until then, just hustle!